Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me. This is going to be probably a three-part tutorial on Bees Wing, a fantastic song by Richard Thompson. If you haven't checked it out, there's a link down there. Go check it out. It's an amazing song. Gorgeous words. Beautiful playing from Richard and um, well worth learning. So we're going to do that now. That was the intro to it, which um, features some lovely little chords. There's a little sus, D sus 2. <laughs> G major, uh, G major with an F sharp in the bass, and then this uh, sort of E minor seven, I guess, an A sus, uh, A sus two, and then a B minor seven, back to the G, G major seven. So some really lovely things to be looking at. The first thing though we're going to look at is the uh, tuning of it. So it's in drop D, which basically means if you take the cap off, um, play a D on your normal standard tuned guitar, and then get your low E to match that D, but an octave lower. So that's normally an E. Just move it down. Some fat. This is really good for playing in D, funny enough. Because you just get that big, sort of rich, beefy extra octave in the bass. So, well worth checking out um, this tuning, drop D. Then we're going to stick a cap on the third fret, and then suddenly we're in F. So if you want to play along with Richard, um, that's capo third fret drop D. That's what we're going to do first. Now, it's also in six eight, so that's just kind of getting used to the pulse of it. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. This is like this rolling sort of quality six eight. And in sort of, especially in folk music, there's like a swing to six eight. It doesn't necessarily mean one two three four five six one two three four five six, which is very straight. Sometimes it can be sort of like a swung feel. So you can have that sort of straight. then you get that sort of swung feel. So just kind of spend a little while just getting used to that idea that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, da, 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 da. There's many ways of feeling that groove uh, that underlies six, eight. It's not just one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's, it's hardly ever that, to be honest. <laughs> so uh, once you get that idea, let's look at the opening um, phrase. So there's this. Da, ba, da, ba, da, dum. So it's a lovely little tune, that. So I think we're just going to sing that a few times. Da, 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 dum. So just play uh, an open E. Na, that's our starting note. It goes up a tone. Da, da, da. Goes back down a tone. And then down the scale. Da, da, dum. Da, ba, da, ba, da, da. But it kind of bounces off and skips two notes at the end there from D to B. And all of this can be found within that D shape. So um, if you start off with a D shape, like a normal D major, take your second finger off so you've got that open E string. And then you can find that F sharp just underneath your fingers with the second finger where it would normally be for D major. And then pull it off to get back to E. And then another E. And then down to the B string, which is already on the third fret B string. Then pull off again for the open B. So it's open, pluck on the F sharp, second fret, pull off, and then down to the B string, third fret, and then pull off. So like I said, there's this sort of like skip. Dum, 
if you're counting. Da 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 dum ba da dum ba da dum ba dum. In the bass, what we're doing is playing an, an A on the first beat of the bar and on the fourth beat of the bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So when we put the two things together, it should sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. <laughs> and then all we need to do is just add one little thing. So the first finger can go to the G string. And when you go to that um, second note in the phrase, we're going to play that G string uh, with our first finger. Now Richard does um, what you call hybrid picking, which is basically where you get a, a plectrum and you play the low bass notes with the plectrum and then you use your other fingers to play you know, the top notes, but we're going to do it in a finger style way. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully you got that. Um, then we're going to go with the third finger to the fifth fret on the low D string, so what was the E string. And at the same time, we're gonna play a low, um, yeah, so we've got a low G, and then the third finger on the right hand is gonna play the B string. And then we're gonna basically line up your first, second, and third finger, or I, M, A, on the D string, G string, and B string, and we're gonna play in ring finger, A, and then the index, and then the middle. Yeah. So one, two, three. And then moving this in the left hand, move the second finger down a fret to the full fret, and do thumb, index, middle. So, so it's thumb and ring, index, middle, and then thumb, index, middle. So the phrase sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play it maybe in a row three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again. And again. One last time. Yeah, so we're just moving between the fifth fret and the fourth fret. All the rest is open strings. So the two phrases sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to go down to an E. So the first finger is going to go to the second fret of the D string, the low D string. And again, we're going to play a ring finger in the right hand, so the open B. So we're going to do the same, basically the same shape as we did in the previous bar. So that's index middle on the D and the G string. And then we're going to go up the scale up from the B string upwards. B, C sharp, D. At the same time as playing a low bass, uh, E. So that bar sounds like this. that to the previous bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Add that to the, the first 
bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got it? Hopefully. <laughs> then we're going to do this three chord chord. It's an A, an A, a B, and an E. So it's implying an A something because it's got an A and an E in it, which is the fifth, and the B could be uh, like an A sus. Two, B is the second degree in an A major scale, so A sus two, there's no C sharps, it's a sus chord. And then we're basically copying the same thing as we did at the start. So doing that same sort of hiccup or sneeze. Da, da, da. And then we're going to go to a B minor 7. So basically put a bar on the 2nd fret. And then put your 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of B string. And then we're going to play the B string. And then the E string. The notes D and F sharp. So it's... That's what we're trying to do. So we're going to do that A sus. And then that pull off idea from the from the first bar that we just learned and then the B minor 7 and then we go B, B F sharp D F sharp <coughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 get the idea and then all of that so those Four bars are all repeated, so it all goes around again. So let's just do it nice and slowly and repeat it twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to the G, F sharp, down to the E, then up the scale on B string, A sus, B minor, seven, repeat. G on the fifth. Fret off of the F sharp, down to the E, up the scale, B minor 7, and this time, so once we've repeated it twice, we go back up to that G, and then we add an F sharp to it, which creates a G major 7. It's got a nice clashiness to it, I love it. Then we're going to release that, so it's a G major 7 basically, and then an open G. So again, that's just the ring finger on the B string, open strings. And then a little skip, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So just basically hold a B, and then a D string, and then G string, D string, G string. So those two bars are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, G, G major 7, and again, G major 7, and there we have it, that's the intro, so let's do the whole thing, remember it's repeated in the middle, those four bars are repeated. So just to recap, we've got the ace, uh, D major. Pull off with the pull off, down to a G, down to a G major with an F sharp in the bass essentially, the chord stays the same. E minor 7, and then we're going to go up the scale on B string, and then an A sus 2, that pull off idea again, and then the B minor 7, F sharp, D, F sharp, and then go around again, G major, F sharp. Minor seven, up the scale, A sus, B minor seven, G major, G major seven, and then G major, and remember there. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down to the E, up the string, A sus, B minor seven, round again. 
major, F sharp in a bass, E minor, up to scale on B, A sus, B minor 7, G, G major 7, G, and then we're into the tune. There we have it. All we need to do is just get faster and faster. So Richard Thompson plays it at about 96 beats per minute, which is around there. So we got... intro to B swing so good luck with that free tab down there check it out uh, any questions comments musings anything please get in touch it's always lovely to hear from you and good luck cheers